Yo guys, Syphon Astro again. Today we're here to talk about some Mackie products. Now I know a lot of you guys are DJs and you're used to DJ mixers. Line mixers might be a little bit new to you, so I'm gonna explain why you use them and when you use them. Now we're starting off with the Mix 5, very price conscious mixer, easy to use. Line mixers you're gonna use for bands, karaoke, things like that, that you don't need to fade between one and the other, but you want to control the individual channels of those feeds. So this guy supports one phantom power microphone. If you want to move up from there, maybe you got you know a couple people that need those mics plugged in, you move up to the Mix 8. Um, again, just an expanded version of this. You have EQ mods on this one, so you can kind of trim what you need to a little bit, and that's all good. But now, Mackie's come out with something new. This is the ProFX 6V3. Now, the reason this is a step up above not only the Mix 8s, but the V2 of the ProFX, is that now this is a USB audio interface, which in the world of live stream, that's huge, which means you can plug this guy into your computer, get all your feeds digitally processed into your computer, and eliminate any of that feedback or static or back, you know, background interference that happens when you're recording. So for a very price conscious mixer, this is a great solution for the guys who are buying Scarlet's or Focusrite's or anything else. Um, this is something that will give you the ability of a line mixer to have that control, but also the ability to communicate with your computer. That's a big deal, and that's awesome. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is the Big Knob Studio Plus. This has a special place in my heart now. I have one in my studio. I have three pairs of monitors, and I don't know what I would do without this thing. I can control all of those sources. Um, I can control five inputs. Um, you know, I have the ability to th throw phantom power in there as well, and it also is a USB audio interface into my computer. So all of that being said, I can plug a ton of stuff in. I can select exactly which outputs I need to go to. My subs hooked into there as well, and it provides a very organized and well-defined sound for my studio. So if you're working with more than one or two pairs of monitors, this is definitely the way to go to give you that control. It's totally worth it. The last thing I'm gonna bring up is a CR3X. This is an improved design over the CR3 and the CR4, which you may remember. I own a pair of those at home too. I use them for multimedia and all different kind of stuff. So I'm excited to see how these do. These are new, fresh off the Mackie boat. So um, they're, they're at Astro. You can come get all the stuff here. It's in stock and available. And if you need help learning how to configure it or how it's gonna help you in your situation, whether it's live stream, live performance or whatever have you, um, come talk to me. We'll figure it out for you. We'll help you out. Astra AVL here in Glendale, California.